Well, Nell Merlino, she's a creative horse behind Take Our Daughters to Work Day, is now leading a major grassroots movement of women businesses across the country on a mission to create millions of new jobs. Merlino says the Obama administration needs to do more to encourage small businesses to hire. She's the founder and president as well of Count Me In for Women. Count Me In, that's the organization for okay. women's economic independence, a not-for-profit provider of resources for women who own businesses. Welcome, Nell, to the show. You have a long resume there. You have done a lot Thank you. to push women in business forward. Certainly. Let's talk just very quickly about the current initiative and how the recession has really, it's, it's really encouraged you and also encouraged a, a number of other women to pursue entrepreneurial Certainly. ambitions. Certainly. Well, I mean, if there aren't jobs, you got to create one for yourself. And we see thousands and thousands of men and women doing that. What we are seeing, though, is women are doing it um, and only 20% of all women business owners have employees. So we are looking at that and, and really working with them now to see the value of growing their businesses with somebody as opposed to trying to do it all themselves. Now this is a Babson College study that you point to that shows that women are a little bit more reluctant to actually hire an employee and I think it's partially, I'm gonna, this is just completely subjective, right, anecdotal. I think that it's women, I agree with what the survey says or the report says, that women sort of think of their employees almost as their children. Yes, there, there is a tendency to see them as a responsibility, which certainly when you take someone on to work with you, that is true, but they don't see them as an opportunity to help them generate more revenue. And so we do quite a bit of work. We have meetups around the country, national events. We do webinars um, regularly on this subject about the value of having other people work with you as opposed to this this value that a lot of women hold about trying to do everything themselves because you can't you can't grow very far you certainly can't get to a million dollars in revenue if you're doing it all by yourself now certainly what you do intersects quite a bit with current government policies certainly. and you have done quite a bit of work also down in DC you've done some work for the United Nations tell me how the current administration sort of figures into pushing women ahead are you finding this administration any different from the prior in terms of being being supportive of women in business? Huge difference. I mean, the prior administration did not pay much attention to the Small Business Administration at all and was not particularly supportive of um, the microenterprise programs that exist at the SBA. This administration has been very supportive of that, has done great things on these recovery uh, loans where they're 90% guaranteed by the SBA. Those loans have helped a lot of women uh, get to a point where they can hire people. So in that sense, they've been very responsive. I think in general, though, there was a less of an understanding understanding of how important it is to help businesses grow so that they can hire people. There, there, there is less of an understanding of some of the additional needs women have to understand the value of an employee that, that go along with, say, the tax credits and things like that. That's good to know. Now, your organization also does provide, I will call it seed capital, for lack of a better phrase on my part, to a number of small businesses. Give me some statistics. You've been doing this for years on the number of companies that have grown and become much bigger than probably they have anticipated we have this month we have a woman on the cover of Inc magazine who went from two hundred thousand dollars to seven million making organic pet food she started in her apartment in New York moved back to Wisconsin where she grew up to be closer to the cows and, and, and to actually make her product and we now have just dozens of women who've gone beyond the million, who some of them are in, you know, are almost close to 20 million now. And these are many of these women, they can go directly to your website and actually apply for funding. Oh, absolutely. You, you hold contests fairly it's, regularly. It, it is through our competitions that the funding becomes available. We literally have found that the, the, the focus of the competition gets everybody really concentrating on what they want to do. So there are competitions. We're having one in San Francisco on November 8th and 9th. So if people want to come and see what it is and you're in the Bay Area, come out and join us because it's the best, it's the fastest way we've found to get women to grow. All right, Nell Merlino, the website is countmein. It's, it's actually makemineamillion.org. Okay, Nell Merlino, president of Count Me In. Thanks so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you.